Ford Pro Stock Final, a great field. And you, and you mentioned that Tommy Amasalo won two races this year. Blair Morgan only won one, but yet he was very consistent throughout. Here's that lineup, and look at the climb up the hill, Rob. It's unbelievable. Ten lap final, green flag, that means go, and look at the power. Unbelievable how steep that first turn is. And now making it down, everybody made it through this time. Morgan into the lead, Ekstrom slots in the second, and that is Ryan Simons on the 67 Articat at Green Sled into third in. Look at the climb, almost twice as long as what they were running on Saturday. Absolutely remarkable. And steeper than what we saw at Park X. I thought that was bad, going up there, pivoting, and then turning down. Ekstrom now. DJ Ekstrom, Amazon Polaris dives to the outside, tries to get him out. And that's the thing, you better get by Morgan early, because if not, he will put some distance on you. Oh, without a doubt. And I tell you, a good run there, that red Polaris of a 44. Gula snuck by Simons in that opening lap. And TJ Gula has now moved into third. Look at Morgan work the rhythms. Our pro stock final here at Lake Geneva is a good one with Blair Morgan out in front of DJ Ekstrom. Gula, Ryan Simons, and Tommy Omasalo rounding out your top five. On the outside and almost going, he does go off. Tommy Omasalo had no more mind left on the track. Blair Morgan, it's nice to have the champion in, championship in your back pocket. You can just putt around, you're out in front so far, you get to give back to the fans. We've seen some cross-ups, some one-handers. It's done. It's a done deal. The 2004 championship had already been decided, but Blair Morgan punctuates it here in Lake Geneva with another win. And who would have thought, considering the, the depth and the severity of the injuries that he had when the season started, that this guy would come through with the championship? There is no one more exciting to watch ride a snowmobile than Blair Morgan. The part that I like is you hear the crowd on the first lap, you huck the huge triple, the 100 footer. I mean, you hole shot it, top qualifier, same old story, you just dominated and killed him again, didn't you? Yeah, I feel really good. Uh, you know, I didn't even nearly need to win. I win a championship, won it after the qualifiers, but I just wanted to, every time I go out there, I just want to give it 100% and uh, just give the crowd a good show. And I'm just having fun out there. You know, if I ride slow, I'll probably crash. I just, just got to go out there and do it. Three points separating second, third, and fourth. Morgan has already clinched. It is time for our Bud Light Pro Open Final at one of the prettiest venues you could ever imagine. I'll tell you, this is going to be awesome. I like that sounds better. You can cut the tension with a knife, and it looks like Mike Highland, Bud Light Skidoo, in front. Trevor John doing the stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, Trevor, quick off. Bad news there, but Island. What a great start. Now, as I said, he comes in, third of the points, one spot behind Cooster. Island has a realistic shot at second in this championship behind Morgan, who already clinched with that good run and qualifying. Look at Ekstrom coming down. Look at Island coming to back after him. Island on the inside. Ekstrom got hung up just a little bit, and here comes Steve Taylor. Taylor runs it in there as well. Runs it in and runs it right by Ekstrom. Then closes the door on him. Look at Reimer ramp on the outside. Reimer back in four spot, the 100, trying to look for a drive. Steve Taylor, oh, he's a rookie. He jumped his way into second spot. Now he's knocking on Mike Island's door. Reimer now up into the second spot. Interesting note here, guy named Blair Morgan is 10. Blair Morgan is in the back of the pack, but he loves Lake Geneva. Give him time. Oh, crossed up. Oh. And over the bars is Steve Taylor. We talk about how tough it was. You get a little out of control, and he paid right there. Well, the problem was he was trying to run with Earl Reimer, who's twice his size, awfully strong, and is willing to just muscle and hang on. I thought you were going to say the price. I thought you were going to say twice his age. Uh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Mike Island, though, now doesn't have anybody breathing down his uh, exhaust pipe. And look at the gap. When they leave the, the base of that uphill to where they land, that's a good 70 feet. Here's a look at Taylor. We're going to go back and take a look at the replay. Now, watch this. Right here is Taylor. Now watch what happens. He's up in the air and he's trying to double down the hill. Lands at a little awkward angle. That's cupped out the back end of the sled. Yaw sideways, lands, and on a downhill slope, you're just, you're dead meat at that point. Stop, drop, and roll right there. That's the fire drill, ladies and gentlemen, and none of these racers want to do it. Look at the amount, because of that one moment of violence, look how much he's closed up. And we know in this situation, Blair can be ruthless if he's close. Island, that's the best he's ridden that downhill. And he had to do it when it counted. Mike Island takes the win, and you're exactly right. 
when he knew he had to have one fast downhill, he turned it up, and Mike Island takes his second win of the year. Mike, tell me if I'm not right. There's nothing worse in a mod race than a face full of roost, bad vision. But for you, there's nothing better been a clear track when you're out front and everybody's behind you, right? Man, you said it. I've, uh, I've had some bad starts today and uh, coming from the back of the pack is not the way to do it here when it's warm like this. I, uh, my spy optics were working really good out there, keeping my vision clear and uh, I don't know, Bud Light Skidoo as usual rocked a great hole shot and I just uh, kept my head straight, tried to not to make too many bobbles and go as fast as I could and made it to the checker first, what can I say? As we take a look at the final results, Blair Morgan comes out on top. Comes out on top. The big swing was Island moving to second. Cooster dropped behind. Extra. Unbelievable. Back down to Jerry. Blair, I just want to ask you one question. How many times have I interviewed you this year? Um, I'd say maybe like 15 or 16. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something. First lap, top of the second downhill, which is very gnarly in Soul Lake yeah. Geneva. You're in ninth place. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew I was in the back. I, uh... I had actually a pretty good jump on the start, and then uh, someone pushed me out way out wide, and uh, I don't know, I just wanted to get everybody and try to win. That says it all about Blair Morgan. Those injuries he had could have been career-threatening, and that would have destroyed the man. He loves this sport and racing that much. Yet he takes two championships for 2004. I'd like to thank the crew from Windfall and also Jay Stu for doing a great job. On behalf of Greg Creamer and Jerry Bernardo, I'm Robbie Floyd. We'll see you next year here on Noah Land. <laughs>